Glory to God. Now I'm in Ecclesiastes chapter 7. I'm in Ecclesiastes chapter 7. And look at verse. Let's go to verse 7. It says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Now, why would a wise man get mad at oppression? And then look at this next verse. And a gift destroyeth the heart. A gift destroyeth the heart. Why would a gift destroy the heart? The Bible says, surely oppression making a maketh a wise man mad. See, saints, the reason why Moses was able to go constantly to the children of Israel behalf and spoke to Pharaoh, let them go, because God translated his anger to Moses. Here's what's powerful. You'll never become the woman that you're supposed to be until you get mad at the woman you're not supposed to be. You'll never become the man that you're supposed to be until you get mad at the man that you're not supposed to be. The madness is a seed for transformation. The madness is a seed for excellence. It is a magnet for perfection. And it is a call for more grace. Madness permits God to possess the flawed sides of you. It says that a wise man is mad because of oppression. What is oppression? Is where demons rule someone else's mind. Oppression is where evil spirit governs someone's thought process. Oppression begins within. It is a bullying. It is a bondage. It is a prison. It makes a wise man mad. Because wisdom is also the ability to escape traps. Wisdom is the opposite to incarceration. Because wisdom is uh, a demonstration of liberty. Now look at this last part. It says, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Why would a gift destroy the heart? Because the heart requires processes to stay pure. But you don't get a gift off of a process. A gift is given freely with no requirements. A heart is purified off of requirements. A gift is given without any time invested in you. A heart is purified by time invested in you. It takes time for your heart to be pure. Try to spend time with God for, for 20 minutes and look at how the first 20 minutes, you ain't went nowhere. Your mind thinking about a cheeseburger. Your mind thinking about why, why, why they stole my last, my last piece, of, piece, of, piece, of, piece of meat, salome meat. They know that I wanted that salome meat. Huh? Salome. How many of y'all used to eat salome meat? Some of y'all don't know what that is. All right, bologna meat. All right, that's for the broke saints. Cheddar cheese fries. Some of you are, you up there woke up in the morning, somebody was eating the cheese, it was you. Somebody thought it was a rat. No, it was you, because you... Saints, how many of y'all know when you're broke, your parents try to moderate how much you eat? Chill, chill, let me finish. Shit, chill, I'm coming back for seconds. And you're not going to stop me. I know that you've been stopping me and I've been listening to you, but you ain't going to stop me this time. I'm hungry. Your parents try to moderate how much you eat. All right. This is your portion. This is your portion. No, we're not doing that. I won't be free. I won't eat some of them. I won't eat the rest here. Don't try to restrict me. Look at this here. The word of God said that a gift destroy the heart. Why would a gift destroy the heart? Because the heart 
is receiving something that it didn't have to work for. So the heart does not value it. The heart does not take it serious or cherish it. Remember, saints, according to Solomon, you can find out that your heart is trifling. You know why? Because the Bible said, guard your heart. Meaning that your heart is wayward. It'll easily go out of boundaries and it'll easily wander out of hedges. Wisdom door. Hedges. Stops the dangers that you can't see. Hedges. Protect you from calamity. That you can't discern. Hedges. Is the cancellation of conversations that is not needed for your mantle. Hedges is the removal of a wrong counselor. Hedges protect your rest with God. Your rest with God. Hedges protect your rest with God. You ever saw a man or a woman at rest? It's because they're in their hedge. I was around my son Juan today. My son Juan told me, he said, your children always go to sleep by you because you're a man of peace. You're so peaceful. Your mind is peaceful. Your presence is peaceful. Hedges sustains your peace. Hedges blocks out what's illegal, a hedge. And hedges protect your edges. See, some of y'all ain't got no edges that show, that show you that you've been disobedient. You can repent and gain them back. It, it grow back, it grow back, but you ain't got them right now. There's a sign. It's a sign. If you ain't got your edges, your hedges is what protect. It protects. So do not, don't argue. Don't argue. Don't argue. I won't hear it. No, you, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not listening. I'm. I'm not. I, I don't. I'm, I'm not arguing. I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna argue with you. All right. I'm not gonna argue. I said what I said. I'm not gonna argue with you. I won't hear it.